We all know what is good for us and we know that we must work for it, but it's not always so easy. I spent so many days thinking about it. I collected the knowledge from wise people. I wrote all the things I should do to improve myself, my life, health and to become a good role model to my kids. But I missed one thing – self-discipline. So I decided to try to follow 365 Days with Self-Discipline by Martin Meadows, a book full of life-alerting thoughts on self-control, mental resilience and success. I will be sharing with you all the thoughts and quotes and lessons that I've learned, that I've implemented in my life and that changed the way I live right now. Day 2. On your choices. Your choices are made in a moment, but their consequences will transcend a lifetime. DeMarco. I learned that every day we make tiny little choices and that impact our whole life. So my life is basically a consequence of the things that I chose to do or not to do before. And this is the way I can impact on my future because I have ability to choose. So what I did, I implemented this habit or thought in my everyday life. Every time when I have to choose between two things, I tend to choose the one that is better for me, for my kids, for my family. Day 6 on superhumans. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you and you can change it, you can influence it, you can build your own things that other people can use. Steve Jobs. So I learned that I can do anything and you can do anything. Your ideas and my ideas can become the real thing. Because when I look around myself and when you look around yourself, you will see that everything that you can see was first an idea in someone's head. And this is an amazing fact. And this helped me in my life um, because right now I am not suspicious about my ideas anymore because I know that we all can do anything that we can imagine. But the question was, what is that one thing that creates the difference between someone who invented um, a skyscraper and now I can see a, sky a skyscraper there and me who have maybe some little idea but I quit. And I found the answer really quickly in this same book on a page 12, day 11, on self-discipline and talent. Self-discipline without talent can often achieve astounding results, whereas talent without self-discipline inevitably dooms itself to failure. Sidney Harris I learned that self-discipline is equal to consistency and that we can have an enormous talent but it could be wasted because if we don't have a self-discipline and we don't have that consistency. And sometimes for some people it's not a huge problem to be consistent, to do constantly something to improve or to create 
um, your idea or to achieve your goal but the problem sometimes is something different self-downing thoughts self-downing thoughts and that was also the problem that I faced with so what I needed to do is to turn off those self-downing or negative thoughts um, or just to ignore them and how I did that is because I started to look on them um, only as thoughts simply as just thoughts that will gone not facts and I told to myself that I have the ability to choose again the the lesson that I learned on day two helped me here because I knew that I have the ability to choose will I follow those self-downing thoughts and quit from my ideas or I will choose not to follow them and to follow this thought or the thought from the Steve Jobs that we all can do something so I knew that talent is the one thing but that I need to practice that I need to stay consistent and I just decided to be consistent day 22 on self-discipline as freedom self-discipline is a form of freedom freedom from laziness and lethargy freedom from expectations and demands of others freedom from weaknesses and fear of doubt self-discipline allows a pitcher to feel his individuality his inner strength his talent he is master of rather than a slave to his thoughts and emotions Dorfman. why we always quit self-discipline is because it starts to be annoying and heavy somehow heavy for us because um, from my experience it was always like something that I need to do it was like some task that someone gave me and I must do and we know from the psychology that every time that we have must or have to it's simply not good uh, not good for us so this thought helped me to completely change the perspective of self-discipline the way I see self-discipline not like something that is overwhelming heavy um, or that I need to do but through this thought I know that self-discipline is um, something it's freedom from all those negative things and unnecessary things that I carry constantly and I cannot achieve a full potential that I can so I understood the, the self-discipline as a freedom from all those things and that was the moment when I felt a motivation that I needed so this was the first part and the first package of thoughts that I learned so I will be doing this every month because my journey was uh, was just like that uh, separated to every month every month I was reading and I was practicing those little little life alerting thoughts um, I tried to implement them into into practice into everyday life I hope you will find this inspirational and uh, I hope you will maybe try to implement some of these things um, in your life see you next month with the new reflections and new stories from this journey